Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about solve a rational equation. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. So rational equations, if an equation contains at least one rational expression, it's considered a rational equation, okay? So let's go first with an example, and then we'll solve from there and learn some things about rational equations. Number three, if I was given seven, over 2x minus 5 over 3x and that equals 22 over 3. Well the first thing I'm looking at here is my denominators. We have 2x, 3x, and 3. We want to find the LCD here. 6x is contained by all three of these, okay? So we find something that contains all three of the denominators, and that would be 6x. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to rewrite this, 7 over 2x minus 5 over 3x equals 22 over 3, and I'll multiply this by 6x, and this side by 6x. And what this is going to do is kind of eliminate the denominators here, okay? So when we do that, <clears throat> we're going to distribute this to 6x to both parts. So we'll see the step, 6x times 7 over 2x minus 6x times 5 over 3x equals, on the right-hand side, again, just 22 over 3 times 6x. We'll simplify what we can. The x's cancel. 6 and the 2 leaves us with a 3 in the numerator. Over here, x's cancel. 3 and 6 leaves us with a 2 in the numerator. On the right-hand side, the 3 and 6 eliminate, and or 6 becomes a 2. So now let's simplify that out. 3 times 7 is a 21. 2 times uh, 5 <clears throat> is a 10. Equals, on the, the right-hand side now, 22 times 2x is a 44x. All right. So again, our goal is to get x by itself. So let's simplify what we can. 21 minus 10 is 11. So 11 equals 44x. Divide both sides by 44. And I'm left with x by itself on the right. And on the left, 11 divided by 44 is 1 fourth. So we have x here equal to 1 fourth as our answer. All right, so now we've solved our first rational equation here. Um, let's go with more of a definition. Rational equations. A rational equation contains at least one rational expression where the variable appears in at least one of the denominators. Okay. So let's go solve another example here. Okay. 2 over x minus 3 over 2 equals 7 over 2x. All right. <clears throat> so again, what we want to do is see what is our LCD here for our denominators? And from the seeing x and 2 and 2x, the LCD um, <clears throat> is 2x here, okay? So if we multiply all sides, all parts by 2x, we have 2x here, or 2 over x minus 3 halves. We're gonna multiply that by 2x here, and we have 7 over 2x times 2x, okay? Now, again, we're going to distribute here, so we distribute to both parts. So you have 2x times 2 over x minus 2x times 3 over 2. And that equals here, um, well, multiply it out, let's simplify it. 2x's here cancel, and we're left with a 7. All right? So now, let's keep simplifying. Well, x and this x cancels, leaving us 2 times 2, which is 4, minus here. The 2's cancel. And we have x times 3, which is 3x, and the 7 just comes out. From there, we want to subtract a 4 to both sides. Leaves us with a negative 3x here, equals 7 minus 4, which is 3. Divide both sides by negative 1. And x equals here, well, sorry, <laughs> divide by negative 3, excuse me, I almost made a mistake there. Divide by negative 3 to both sides, leaving us a negative 1 as our answer. 3 divided by negative 3 is a negative 1. And there we have it. We have x equals negative 1. So let's go do another example. I'm going to have to raise my board. I'll see you in a moment.
So now let's try number five. It tells here we have one over x equals one over 10 minus three over four x. Okay, <clears throat> well, what are common denominators? We have, well, our denominators are x, 10, and four x. 20 x can, contains all of these. So let's go put, multiply both sides by 20x. So again, 1 over x minus, uh, equals oops, 1, 10 minus 3 over 4x. Multiply this by 20x, and this side by 20x. Simplify what we can. x is here cancel. 20 times 1 is 20. Right hand side. Distribute over, let's, I'll show that step, 1 tenth times 20x minus 3 fourths, uh, 3 over 4x times 20x. Simplify what we can. 10 and 20 turns that 20 into a 2. So we have this 20 comes down and we have 2x here minus, uh, now the x's cancel out, 4 goes into 25 times, and so 3 times 5 is 15. Again, we want to get x by itself, so to do that, we have to add a 15 to both sides. 20 plus 15 is a 35. Bring down the 2x here, divide both sides by 2, and now we have x by itself, and it's equal to 35 over 2. I'm okay with it as a fraction, and there we have it. 35 over 2 is equal to x. So let's try another example here, <clears throat> number 6. Well, this one's multiple examples, okay? Well, let's do part A, make it simple. We have three over x minus six equals five over x. All right, so what we can do here is actually what we call cross multiplying. It's a technique to solve this. If I do multiply this x minus six to the five and this x to the three, we're left with three times x here equals five times x minus six. Okay, makes it much easier to solve. So now we have 3x here, equals 5 times x is 5x. 5 times a minus 6 is a minus 30. Again, we want to get x uh, together. So we're going to subtract a 5x to both sides. Bring them together, 3x minus 5x is a minus 2x. That's equal to a minus 30 here. Divide both sides by a negative 2. And this gets us x completely by itself, and negative 30 divided by a negative 2 is a positive 15. And there we have our lovely answer. All right? So let's keep practicing. Let's do another one. Let's go with b. b here is x over x minus 3 equal to 5 over x minus 3 minus 1 half. Okay? All right, <clears throat> this one's a little tricky, okay? Well, what's the LCD of our denominators? X minus 3, X minus 3, and 2. This one's tricky, so bear with me here. I'm going to rewrite it so we can see. We have X over X minus 3 equal to 5 over X minus 3 minus 1 half. And here our LCD, okay, is two times x minus three. So we have x minus three here, x minus three here, and a two. So if we combine the two and x minus three, we got our LCD. We separate this out here. Two times x minus three. So just as you did before, take your time, and we're gonna multiply this out. Luckily on the left-hand side, it's pretty easy. x minus three is here. Cancel, and we're left with a two x in the numerator. On the right side, we're again gonna distribute this Okay, and let's show our steps. We can take our time. 5 over x minus 3 here times 2 x minus 3 minus 1 half times 2 x minus 3. Okay, cancel what we can. x minus 3's here cancel, leaving us with 5 times 2, which is 10. Subtract again. The 1 half times 2 cancel each other out. 
and we're left with just a minus x minus 3. Be careful here with that subtraction sign because we'll distribute that to both parts. Okay. So continuing with it, we have 2x here equals 10, distribute the minus sign, minus x, and then a double negative on the 3 makes it a positive. That's the tricky part, plus 3. Let's combine our like terms and bring the x over to the left-hand side. So we add an x here. 2x plus x is 3x, and what's left is 10 plus 3, which is 13. Divide both sides by 3 here, and we're left with x by itself, and that equals 13 over 3. Okay? Oh, big example. Kind of used a lot of space, so I have part C to go to, and I'm going to erase this first and get back to it. So 6 part C is coming up. All right, so we have C here, okay? C is this, x over x minus two is equal to five x minus two minus one half, all right? So again, we wanna find the LCD, the least common denominator. We have x minus two, x minus two, and two, and so similar to the last problem, we're gonna multiply both sides by two x minus two. So again, let's rewrite it. x over x minus 2 here is equal to 5x minus 2 minus 1 half. And again, multiplying that by um, 2x minus 2. Okay? And same thing here. It fits 2x minus 2. All right. Cancel out what we can. x minus 2 is cancel here. 2 times x is 2x. Right hand side. We have distributing, and we have to distribute this. So we have again, five over x minus two times two x minus two. And we can take our time here, it's all right. There's always extra space, times two x minus two. So the x minus twos here cancel, leaving us five times two, which is 10. We have two x here. And then we have a two and the one half cancel leaving us with, well, just minus x minus 2 here. Very similar to the last problem. So now we make sure to distribute this minus sign over. So 2x comes down, equals 10, minus x, double negative makes it a positive, so we have a plus a 2. We can add an x to both sides. 2x plus x is 3x. 10 plus 2 is 12. Now we divide both sides by 3 and x equals 12 divided by 3, which is 4. All right? So we have one more example here for you. A lot of examples in this one. All right, so this is actually kind of a difficult one, but we'll take our time. We have 2 over x plus 1 minus 1 over x minus 1 is equal to 2x over x squared minus 1. All right? So again, we want to find the LCD. But this one, I'm noticing we have x plus 1, x minus 1, and x squared minus 1. So what I'm actually going to do here is factor out that denominator. Okay? So bear with me. So the right hand, left hand side, keep the same. 2 over x plus 1 minus 1 over x minus 1 equals 2x over and this one, we know we can factor that, and that's an x minus 1 and an x plus 1, okay? And now I have found my LCD, or it's easier to see. We have x plus 1 in this denominator, x minus 1, and we have both of them here. So my LCD here is that x minus 1 times x plus 1. And we'll do that to the right hand, or left hand side as well. x minus 1 and x plus 1. All right, so we distribute that across here on the left, and we can, we can show that step. So we have x minus 1, x plus 1, times 2 over x plus 1, minus, <laughs> again, x minus 1, x plus 1, times 1 over x minus 1. And that equals on the right-hand side. Now, 
I don't have to distribute it, so I can just show that this cancels here, and we're left with just a 2x. So let's cancel the left-hand side here. x plus 1's cancel. And so now we have 2 times x minus 1. I kind of rearranged it there, but it still works. Same thing here, x minus 1's cancel. And we're left with x plus 1 times 1, which is x plus 1. And that equals just my 2x on the right. So let's go simplify this. Distribute the 2 to both parts. 2x minus 2. Distribute the minus sign to both parts. Minus x minus 1 equals 2x. Well, let's combine our like terms on, uh, on the left-hand side. 2x and a minus x is just a normal 1x. Minus 2 and a minus 1 is a minus 3. And that equals 2x. So this one's actually fairly simple. I just subtract an x to both sides. And I'm left with a minus 3 equals x. Or I rewrite it as x equals minus 3. And there we have it. So now you know how to solve a rational equation. If this video was helpful for you, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So, as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. MinuteMathTutor.com